Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm really excited to do. It is going to be all about the new ColourPop and Rudolph collaboration. So I just received this in PR from ColourPop. Big thank you to them for sending this over. This video is not sponsored. Otherwise I would say that. And when I put this in my Will I Buy It video from this week, a lot of people commented on this collection. A lot of people seemed excited for it, was going to purchase it. So when I got it today, I asked if you'd want to see a full video on it on my community tab. And at the time I'm filming, it was like 72% of people said yes. So I'm going to go through the whole collection. I'm going to swatch everything that I can. I'm going to do a look with the eyeshadow palette and just give my first thoughts on the collection. There's also going to be a little giveaway at the end. So let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so let me jump into my outfit of the day. So today we just have on some distressed jeans and then this red crop top. I thought I'd get in like the Rudolph mood with my red sweater. So I do obviously have some of my face and makeup done, um, but I am going to do a look with the eyeshadow palette and then there are quite a few lip products in here. So I'm just going to run through the full collection first and let you know what's available. Everything is on the ColourPop website. I'm filming this on Thursday afternoon, a few hours after this did launch. So far, everything is still in stock that I can see. So I will link it down below if you're interested in grabbing anything. First of all, it comes with these super cute reindeer hair clips. I saw a lot of people ask if these were gonna be sold. They are, and they are $7 on the website. So it comes with the two little hair clips here. I will be using these when I do my eye look. Those are, those are a lot of fun. We also have under the Soul Body Line, this is the a uh, Humble Bumble Mega Mood Melt. So this is $9 and it says, the sweet snowflake shaped bath melt is the perfect relaxing addition to add to your busy holiday, holiday schedule. It smells like cool mint and hints of soft florals. I'm very jealous about this because I don't have a bath. I only have showers where I live, but it smells really good. It smells really good. Then we also have these cuties. So we have the Rudolph Lippy Scrub and then also the Clarice Lip Mask. These retail for $10. So the Lippy Scrub has a peppermint flavor and then the Lippy Mask, this says, has a soft holly berry tone with a soothing peppermint flavor. Mm, so festive. We also have a Lip Trio. So this is a couple of Misfits and this is the Lux Gloss Trio. This one retails for $24. So inside we have Hermie, which is clear with pink and violet duochrome pinpoints. Misfit Elephant. That one is a sheer apricot with pink, copper, and gold duochrome pinpoints. And then also Dolly is a sheer cherry with silver, pink, and violet duochrome pinpoints. We have two different lip duos in here also. There's Always Tomorrow and I Think You're Cute. Each one has a lippy pencil and a luxe lipstick. These re retail for $16. In I Think You're Cute, we have the lippy pencil in Clarisse, which is a soft, warm, peachy nude. And then the cream luxe lipstick, it says, is an undeniably cute nude lip. <laughs> Love that. Then we have There's Always Tomorrow. So the lippy pencil is in Rudolph, which is a rich cranberry red. And then the Cream Lips Luxe Lipstick, all it says is for the Ultimate Rudolph Red Lip. Again, those retail for $16. Then we have the Jingle 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 Shimmering Body Powder. This one retails for $12, and it says our liquid powder highlight delivers instant glowing skin without the commitment. <laughs> you know, it's holiday time. People don't want to be committing right now. <laughs> And then we have our eyeshadow palette. This is the Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer palette. This one is going to retail for $24. Super cute packaging on everything. So we have North Pole, a soft metallic ivory, Mush Mush, a matte light mauve taupe, Independent Together, matte pale warm pink, Eat Eat, a matte soft warm beige, lots of tinsel, a metallic warm rosy pink, Elf Practice, metallic light sage green with a golden duo chrome flip, Misfit Toys, Metallic Silvery Lavender, Handsome Nose, Metallic Ruby Red, Snowbank, a Metallic Warm Gold, Little Buck, a Matte Saddle Brown, Christmassy Time is a Matte Rich Forest Green, Gadzooks is a Matte Deep Cool Tone Brown, Up Up and Away is a Metallic Smoky Plum, Full Power is a Matte Deep Burgundy, and Ready Santa is a Matte Rich Warm Toned Brown. And I did see on the website it says this is their first palette where they've mixed red and green tones together. You can see from what I was reading off, there's a lot of different metallics in here. Um, I, when I talked about this in the Will I Buy It video, I said I liked this because it felt more festive -y. I believe was the word I used. Then I thought the other holiday collection that ColourPop has released, which was the Roaring Hearts, which was kind of the 20s theme. I was like, this to me says more holiday in it. I like a lot of the metallic shades. Some of the greens in here are really beautiful. I also really do like red looks and I think, 
I'm leaning towards doing something with the red because I do think red is fun to play with. Uh, but yeah, I thought this one definitely screamed very holiday and I'm excited to put together a look. So that is everything in the collection and some swatches, the prices. Again, everything will be linked in my description box. But let's go ahead and jump into putting some of these on my face and my lips and my eyes. Okay then. Hello. All right, I'm actually first gonna jump into a few different lip swatches since we have a handful of different lip products to work with for this video. So I'm first going to put a couple of misfits onto my lips. So I'm gonna start up with the clear gloss. This one is in Hermy. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I'm not gonna do any lip liner. I'm just gonna swatch on my bare lips so you can get an idea since lip liner can kind of manipulate the different shades. All right, so you can see Hermie is very clear, but it has quite a bit of that pink shift to it. Mmm. Mmm. That's kind of a fun one. Gloss feels nice and smooth. It doesn't feel sticky at all, like my lips aren't sticking together or anything like that. Next up, a swatching Misfit Elephant. All right, once again, pretty clear. The pinpoints in this one are more gold than um, than Hermie was. All right, lastly, up in the trio, I'm gonna be adding Dolly to my lips. Once again, a pretty sheer, I mean, it's gloss. It's pretty sheer gloss, but this, this one has more pink to it. I feel like it still has a lot of sparkle. I feel like maybe this one has a little bit less sparkle than the other one. Kind of just has more shine to the lips versus the other ones are a little bit more with that sparkliness. So mm, this one is Dolly. That's really pretty on its own though. I'm also going to go ahead and do the duo in There's Always Tomorrow. And I'm going to do the other duo after I do my eyeshadow because I think that's, that's what I wanted to keep on my lips. So this is first duo. I'm going to go ahead and add the lippy pencil and then the lip liner. All right, so here is the Rudolph lip liner and lip pencil. Very, very red, as you can see. I don't really rock red lips all that often. I find it intimidating. I almost always get lipstick on my chin also, which I managed to do once again. Um, again, it's just, it's. I don't wear red lips all that much. I think it makes my teeth look whiter, which is a lot of fun, but I would be like super intimidated to wear this out. If I'm gonna wear a red lip, I usually prefer to go with a matte lip since you know it can transfer so much. The lippy pencil is really great though. This is a very smooth. I love the color pop lip liners. I usually prefer either a matte lip or a gloss lip. So like the Luxe lipsticks aren't usually my favorite, but I still think it's a very pretty duo, very holiday-esque. If red lips are your thing, it's a really pretty red. I'm very particular with my reds. Sometimes I either think they're like too blue or too pink. Like this is just like, this is a holiday red. The more I look at it, the more I like it. Again, I just would be so, like, I would be super nervous to wear this out because I just know it would be all over me. And then I am going to add on the Jingle Jingle Jingle, the Shimmering Body Powder. So it does say body powder. I'm just going to add a little bit to my face as a highlight since I don't have a highlight on yet. But, I mean, you could you could put it wherever you like, wherever you prefer, wherever you like. <laughs> so I'm just going to add a little bit to my cheekbones here. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. I haven't always loved these from Soul Body because sometimes I felt like they didn't quite have enough oomph, but that one's actually really pretty. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so this, the, the words that I was thinking when I was applying it was peachy, um, but it's described as that champagne with a peach flip, and you can see it has a little bit, yeah, those like pinpoints. And that's actually, that's really pretty. Again, I haven't always been a big fan of these Soul Body highlighters, but I'm also not as much into like super blinding highlighters these days, but I feel like this still gives enough of that oomph. Ooh, that's pretty. All right, I'm going to wipe off the red lip and then we are going to jump into the eyeshadow palette and then the other lip duo. I actually really am starting to like this lip. <laughs> I don't know how seriously I can take myself with the, the these in. They're smaller than I like thought they were going to be. So here's what they look like. So they're kind of smaller and I kind of have, well, I have a lot of hair because I have hair extensions. So there's that. But let's jump into the Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer palette. So like I said, I'm kind of feeling more of the reds. 
I've done some green looks recently, but I feel like it's been a hot second since I've done something with the red. So that is what I would like to experiment with today. So I'm first gonna go in with a Sigma E25 and I'm gonna take some independent together. And I am going to, this one is more on the pinky side, but I am going to run that above my crease. This is a matte pink, but it has like it has a little bit of red to it. Should I zoom in even more? Build that up a little bit more. I'm gonna come in with a bigger blending brush. This is the BMX 430 crease from Moda. And I'm gonna grab some of Eat Eat, this matte brown. And I'm gonna run that even above where I add it independent together. All right, and then I'm gonna use a Refer 02. I believe the Refer Black Friday sale starts today the 19th. I believe it's 50% off the website. I would check that out. I will have it linked down below. Uh, but when I got the email, cause I have an affiliate with Refer, when I got the email about their Black Friday sale, I was like, that sounds like a really good deal. And I like a lot of the Refer brushes. So again, this one is the O2. And then I'm gonna take some Handsome Nose, which is like our cranberry metallic. And then I am going to, okay. Wipe that onto the lid. This is a dry brush. Not even trying. Cool. Cool. Ooh, that is stunning. I look a little um, harsh until I do some more blending, but I want to add, I just want to try to add as many shades as I can. So I'm first going to lay this one down. That is super beautiful. I got just a tad bit of fallout with the red. Not too much, not too much. Uh, I'm just gonna flip the brush over and then I'm gonna add lots of tinsel. I'm gonna add this right in the center, just for a little pop right there in the middle. Ooh, she cute. Ooh, she cute, yeah. I'm gonna come back with the E25. I'm not gonna add any extra product, but I'm just going to run that back and forth just to make sure don't have any harsh edges here. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I really like red shadow with green eyes. I think it's really pretty. It's not one that I do all that often, but something about a good red look just gets me going. All right. That's the eye look. That was super simple to do. Perfect. All right, so let's finish off the lower lash line. I'm gonna add my eyeliner. You know what, I'm gonna add some green liner. Why not, right? Let's be festive. So this is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is her, does this have a name? It's her green liner, the one with the, oh no, with the double side. Please hold while I go sharpen this. I'm back. Uh, it's just so funny sometimes. So, so I turned off the camera and I was like, I'm gonna walk in the bathroom, but I picked up my phone and I have posted a few things saying like, I'm filming with this collection. So I see I have a bunch of Instagram messages coming in. So I'm like, let me respond to a couple, but I responded while I was walking to the bathroom. And then I got to the bathroom and I was like, why am I here? I forgot the pencil out here on my desk. And I'm in the bathroom. I'm like, why did I come in here again? I'm gonna add just a little bit under also, just a little bit there. We'll smudge it out with some shadow. I use the Refer 23. This is one of my favorite brushes from Refer if you're looking for recommendations. And on the lower lash line, I'm gonna mix, I know I wanna do full, I'm gonna do full power first and then I'm gonna decide what I wanna mix it with. So I'm gonna do full power close to the lash line and kind of smudging out that green liner. I'm gonna add just a little bit just like flick it a little bit out here. Not too much, just just a little something. I'm getting carried away, I'm adding some full power. Just a little right here. <sighs> getting carried away, I'm just having so much fun, I'm feeling so festive. I'm just using a sponge to clean up that line. All right, and then I think I'm just gonna add a little bit more um, I'm gonna do little brick actually. I'm gonna do some little brick. I'm just gonna use that same brush and then just kind of smoke out the lower lash line even more. Red can be tricky because you don't want it to make it look like you're sick. So that's why I like to add in 
the browns also to kind of offset that. I'm just going to grab a little bit of North Pole and use this as an inner corner highlight. Inner corner and brow bone with North Pole. Ooh, that's a pretty shade. Yeah, I'm gonna bring that just a little bit on like the inner part of the lid too. That's really pretty. I just added some of the Rare Beauty Mascara and then this is the final look for the eyes. I am really feeling it. I'm loving the red. I'm loving the little like hint of green in the waterline and then on the lower lash line. Ooh, that was simple. That was easy. That was all good. And then I'm going to do the last lip duo. This is in the I Think You're Cute. So this is with the Clarice lip liner and lipstick. All right, so the lip liner is actually pretty light. I think it's, it's almost a little bit too light for me. It's also a little bit more on the cool tone side, which I don't mind. I don't have a lot of cool tone lip liners. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the lipstick on top. I really like the sparkly red packaging that's cute all right so this is definitely more my vibe than the red lip was like i would feel you know more comfortable wearing this but i actually i almost think it's a little bit too light for me i think it kind of washes me out just a little bit i think i'm going to add one of the glosses on top just to see like i said i either like a matte lip or a glossy lip so kind of the satiny is not usually like 100 percent my vibe but yeah i just feel like it's almost a little bit too light on me and I think it needs a little something more with the eye look so I am going to grab out mm, I'm actually gonna grab out this one right here this was the misfit elephant I'm gonna add this on top and see what I think okay I like that it made it more of a glossy lip because that's just what I prefer and I like the sparkle to it I think maybe I would just need to use a darker lip liner if I wanted to use the lipstick, but just gives you an idea if you're, you know, maybe close and shade to me, or maybe that's what you like. Um, just for like me personally and my makeup preferences, I usually like a little bit of like a darker uh, lip liner, especially. I don't mind. I think the lip gloss did help. Yeah, I think the lip gloss helped it a little bit. So after that, this is it. This is my final look using the new ColourPop and Rudolph collection. I hope you enjoyed seeing this first impression video with some swatches and doing a look here. So to run through the products that I tried, I actually, I do like the Soul Body Highlight. Like I mentioned, I didn't really love these in the past, but I think I'm going to pop this one onto my vanity. I mean, I want to review it obviously, but I'm going to pop this on my vanity and wear it a little bit more. I really, I'm liking that on me. And then for the different lips, I think I'm going to like the Luxe lipsticks. ColourPop lippies aren't usually my favorite minus the lip pencils. I love those. But I actually really I really felt that they were comfortable and I like the different shades that they have So I want to pair them with some different lip liners Maybe give once I do my review video I could give some color pop lip pencils to maybe pair them with because I have a lot of the color pop lip liners And then for the duo, I think the red duo is going to be I think i'm actually going to wear that again I'm thinking maybe of doing like a get ready with me with some holiday makeup and then I kind of instantly think of a red lip And I think that would be a good duo. I just get really worried about red getting all over my face is all the nude one a little bit on the light side for me um but i like it i love the cloth pop lip pencils the luxe lipsticks just aren't usually my favorite and then the eyeshadow palette i thought performed really well i'll definitely be doing some more looks with it i'll do a look on my instagram also which is a march beauty word but i thought it was really simple to use that shimmer was so beautiful and there's a lot of different uh color combos in here that i am going to be really excited to test out i really obviously want to use the greens i like neutrals so i'm really excited about this palette i felt like it was good quality that north pole shade is really beautiful too so i think that there's going to be a lot that I can do with this one so I'm excited about that uh, like I mentioned in the beginning there is a giveaway in this video so let's hop over to that alrighty so I am doing a bunch of pop-up giveaways during this time I'll do my 12 days of giveaways in December which is like almost here but um, around the start of November I started doing these little pop-up giveaways in my videos here on YouTube and then also on my Instagram usually in my Instagram stories 
Uh, and that my Instagram again is March Beauty Words. So if you're not following me over there, you should because I've been doing a lot of giveaways. But what I wanted to give away in this video is actually a ColourPop PR package. And this is the Nightmare Before Christmas package. So one winner is going to win the entire PR box in here. I'm just going to ship the box like this to you. I really <laughs> wanted to play with this collection, but I just did not get enough time. ColourPop comes out with so many releases and then there's so many other new releases. I just did not get time to be able to create some looks with this collection. So I thought I could give this one away. So if you're interested in receiving the full PR collection from ColourPop and their Nightmare Before Christmas, it's super simple to enter into my giveaways. Just make sure you're a subscriber here. If you like the video, that always does help me out. And then just leave a comment down below and include the hashtag SamSquad. If you don't want to enter, but you want to leave a comment on the collection, just don't include that hashtag. But if you use the hashtag, that lets me know that you are interested in winning. And I would also, I thought to do something fun for this one. I would also like to know your reindeer name. If you could choose a reindeer name, what would it be since this is the Rudolph collection? I think mine would be sugar. I was gonna say candy and then at last minute I switched to sugar. Yeah, that would be my reindeer name. So I would love to know your reindeer name. So if you wanna enter, leave the comment with hashtag SamSquad, your reindeer name. Make sure you're subscribed here. That's it. And then um, in about a week or so, I will comment back to the winner and I will pin that comment. So make sure I try to put a reminder when I do another video um, once I have the winner. There has been a winner drawn in my wish list video, the Sephora wish list video, and I did pin that comment. I haven't heard back from the winner yet, um, but that comment is pinned. So if you entered into that giveaway where you could win any one item from Sephora, Make sure to go check that video, see if you are the winner. Um, but yeah, I just respond back to you and then try to get your contact information that way. But that is it. Uh, the giveaway is open international. Anyone can enter. So that's the giveaway for today's video. I hope you're excited. Let me know what you thought of this collection and did you pick it up from ColourPop? Again, I'll be linked down below if there's anything that you want to grab. But I like it. First impression is pretty positive. Uh, I think I'm going to enjoy testing out these products as some more and I will come back to give full reviews as soon as I can. Other than that though, that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I hope you also consider subscribing before you go and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.